Hola, it's Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video of my Worth It Boss series where I review skincare products and yeah, that's basically it. So I have another video for you guys. So if you're interested about this certain product, then keep on watching. But before I begin, I hope you guys subscribe to my channel. Click that red button down below if you guys are interested about skincare, travel, and food sometimes because I love eating. So yeah, this is what this channel is all about. So click that subscribe button if you want to be a part of this community. So let us start with the review. For today, we are going to talk about another Japanese product and it is the Hada Labo Gokujun Hyaluronic Acid Lotion. For those of you guys who have been subscribed to my channel for quite some time now, I think you have seen this product in my Japan haul. So yeah, I got this when I was in Japan. For the packaging, it comes in a bottle that is color white and yeah, the bottle is not transparent but you can still see the product that is inside so this bottle has 170 ml of product inside and it is made in Japan it says here that it is a hydrating lotion so for those of you who are still not familiar with Japanese skincare when they say lotion it is actually a toner so yeah, that is what I have learned from watching other videos and yeah, because I did not really get to communicate to anyone in the drugstores there in Japan. So yeah, that is how I knew that lotions are actually donors in Japan. For the price, I bought this at around 700 plus yen. I think it was almost 800 yen. So if you convert that to peso, it is almost 400 pesos actually i think it is not bad of a price it is actually reasonable it is still not very expensive and it is not very cheap i bought my body shop uh, mattifying toner for around 600 or 700 pesos so that one i would call it expensive so this one is a more reasonably priced toner so for the performance, um, I am going to show you how I apply this product because I have just started my skincare routine. I already washed my face before filming this video so I can show you guys how I use this toner and how um, the texture is and stuff like that. The lotion itself is clear in color. It has a smell but I cannot really describe how it is but it is not very strong it's not unpleasant it's just fine and it is not unscented at the same time so I usually put like um, just a small amount probably around like that it looks like water but then it is actually kind of sticky uh, when you put it on the face so yeah I just rub it around my hands and then I just pat it around my face so that is how I usually apply this lotion. It does get quite sticky at first. Uh, yeah, you don't really see the lotion right now. The skin is absorbing it. But yeah, my face does feel a little sticky. It is just sticky at first, but after a while, when it has been absorbed by the face, it is okay already. It doesn't feel sticky anymore. I think I leave it for around five to ten minutes um, before I put on another product so it should be fully absorbed. And the claims of this product is it is hydrating to the skin. Uh, it has hyaluronic acid so that component gives you the moisture that you need for your face. There's no other claims to this product other than hydrating so yeah it really does its job. It really gives me the moisture that I need for my face but yeah the downside is it's just very sticky at first but then after a while it goes off so it's not really such a big deal for me. I actually enjoy using this product because my face really feels super hydrated. Even if I am oily, it does not give me 
a very oily feeling after so you know, it's just perfect uh, I cannot say anything else other than yeah it is a good product and I'm pretty sure it is worth a try the Hada Labo line is I think one of like the products people really buy in Japan I actually saw this product as well in Andy Manzano's vlog about her favorite Japanese skincare products and yeah I agree to what she says in that video I know that video was like a few months already and then it took me quite some time to film this video because there were other products in line as well and I wasn't able to film much since I moved back here in Manila so yeah that is it I do recommend that you guys try this product if you can find it here in the Philippines it is not available yet in um, department stores in drug stores so I would recommend you to look for it on Instagram shops I know there are other Instagram shops who sell Japanese skincare products straight from Japan uh, I'm not sure with Beauty MNL Lazada and those other websites so you can also try and look if they have this one available go ahead and try this Hada Labo Goku June hydrating lotion aka toner because I would say that it is a very good product uh, even if I have oily skin it is very nice to my skin right now it doesn't feel sticky anymore after a few minutes of talking so yeah my skin has absorbed the lotion and I am good to go and I am going to apply my sunblock after this so yeah this is it for this review I hope you guys learned something from it and if you did don't forget to like this video and comment down below your thoughts and if you guys have tried this uh, product let me know as well thank you so much for watching I will see you guys on my next video Stephanie out